Hey everyone, and welcome to Covenant Kids. You may have already noticed that I have a special guest visiting today. Everyone, please say hello to Incredigirl. Hello, boys and girls. I am so happy to be here today. Kids, I wanted to introduce you to Incredigirl because believe it or not, summer is just around the corner. And being a bit of a Wonder Woman herself, Incredigirl is going to be helping out with our new summer series. It's, go it's called Wonder Women of the Bible. Aw, oh, shucks. So, Incredigirl, who do you think is the greatest Wonder Woman of the Bible? Oh my, there are so many to choose from. There's Abigail, Mary, Esther, and Ruth, and that's just to name a few. I just think these women are so brave, gracious, filled with gratitude and love, and, and so incredible. You will learn all about them this summer. That's right. There's going to be a summer worship kit coming soon to you. So keep your eyes out and stay tuned for our summer series beginning on July 4th. It was great to meet you all. See you soon. And now let's stand up and sing our first worship song. God is for me. Incredigirl Girl had to go off and fly around and find somebody else to save in need. So good for you, Incredigirl. Girl. Go and save people. So today is the last session that we have for this season of Covenant Kids. So it's kind of like our wrap-up session. And as we mentioned before, uh, next week we'll be starting our summer series, Wonder Women of the Bible. But let's talk about this past year. Have you ever heard the expression, God is good all the time? All the time, God is good. Our friendship friends often say this, and I really love this, this reminder of how God is good to us. We've had a really tough year. We've been dealing with COVID restrictions, isolations, illnesses, lots of staying at home. So can you say that God has been good to you this year? Why, yes, you can, because it says so right in our Bibles. When I say you're a good person, 
what do you think I'm talking about? You might think of somebody as being very kind and generous, somebody who's always doing the right thing. Well, God is the ultimate good person. Jesus is the ultimate good person, always doing the right thing and always being kind and generous. Let's talk about what that really means though. Think about it. Whenever you see movies or read books about Jesus, what color clothing is Jesus wearing? Well, let's take a look at Jesus in the storybook, the Jesus Storybook Bible. I think a lot of you have this book, and this is kind of why I chose this one. So I'm just kind of looking at some of the, uh, the pictures that we have of Jesus in here. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay, well, this is the first picture I'm coming across. Here's Jesus right here, and he's actually getting baptized by John the Baptist. Here he is, being tempted by the devil. Oh, here he is. This is when he's getting the fishermen to come follow him. Let's see. Oh, here's another picture of Jesus. What color is Jesus always wearing here? That's right. He's always wearing white. Now, he probably didn't wear white. Men back then wore clothes that were dyed with colors or were left a natural tan color. And remember, they didn't have washing machines back then. So if they did have something white, it certainly didn't stay white for very long. So why do you think that artists or movies almost always show Jesus wearing white clothes? For one thing, you'll know which one in the picture is Jesus, right? In every one of those pictures that we looked at, he was wearing white and we could pick him out very easily. You always know that the man in white is Jesus. Perhaps you're thinking that white represents Jesus as being perfect because he never did any of the bad things called sin. That's a reasonable answer. White would definitely represent his purity. That white color also re represents his goodness. One time when Jesus was on a mountain with Peter, James, and John, something happened to his clothes. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna look in the Bible and I'm going to read from the book of Mark. Matthew, Mark, Mark chapter nine, verses two to eight. Okay, ready? After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them, led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say. They were so frightened. Then a cloud appeared and enveloped them, and a voice came from the cloud, This is my son whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. So what happened to Jesus' clothes? Did you hear that part at the very beginning? Jesus' clothes became dazzling white. This was to show his disciples that he really was God. Jesus is the man, the God man who never sinned. The color white represents his goodness and God is good all the time. That's an important truth for you to know and trust. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I'm gonna read another section of the Bible to you and this comes from Psalm 119. Um, 118, 119. And I'm going to read verse 68 to you as soon as I find it. You are good and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. The Bible says that everything about God is good. He is good in himself and what he does is good. That means God allows nothing to happen to his children, to those who love him, that is not for their good. God gives to us only that which is good. 
God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And he is at work in our lives for good. But you might ask, what about the tough things that happen to us? Someone gets very sick, loses a job, or has to move far away from family and friends. We had a really tough year, like this past season. Is God being good then? Yes. Why? Because God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. You need to know three truths about God's goodness. Truth number one, God is good even in the tough times. Hmm. God is good even in the tough times. God teaches us through hard things he allows in our lives that help us to grow up. These tough experiences teach us to trust him. Tough times help us learn to give up trying to do things our own way, which may not be the best way, and start doing things God's way, which is always the best way. Anything that draws us closer to God is good for us. Can you think of any of our Bible heroes who learned to trust God through tough times? Hmm. Well, what about Joseph? His brother, brothers threw him in a pit and sold him to uh, Egyptians as a slave. How about Naomi? She moved away from home with her husband and her sons, and then they both died because they were, and then she had to move back all alone. How about Noah? He had to build an ark with everybody making fun of him the whole time. How about Paul? He went all throughout the world spreading Jesus' love and message. He went through a lot of tough times. God is good even in the tough times, even during this past season with the pandemic. So God is good even in the tough times. Truth number two, God is good in different ways for each person. Hmm. God's goodness may look different for me than it does for you. Have you or someone in your family been very sick? Or have you moved away from home to a place far away? When that happened, you may have felt sad or scared. It's hard to move, especially from a familiar place to someplace new. Yet, because of moving, God's goodness always gives you a new friend who is so happy to have you living near them. God is good to that person in a different way by moving you and providing a friend for them. Sometimes you can't feel it or see it. Sometimes looking bad for one person may be just what that person needs to get to know God in a very personal way. Or it may be just what another person who is watching needs in order to know God in a personal way. So, God is good in different ways for each person. Truth number three, God is good in what he allows or doesn't allow in our lives. Not everyone gets sick with cancer or has a car accident. Not every person moves far away from home. Throughout the Bible are many examples how God healed someone or protected someone in a dangerous situation. We don't even know all the dangers God protects from us every day. We should thank him all the time for doing that. So, God blocks out more hard things in our lives than he allows to happen to us. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Even in the tough times, in different ways for each person, and in what he allows or doesn't allow into our lives. Will you remember that? God has been good to us this past year. We've had some pretty fun activities this year. Can you remember? How about that family service we had? How about the Thanksgiving food drive? How about pen pals or the advent wreaths? Sledding, skating, fires, resurrection gardens, the amazing road race, and so much more. I've made up a video of a few of the last activities, the creation care, some of the road race pictures, and the gardens, along with the pictures of all of our Cove kids who are moving on to the next section, the next ministry group at Covenant. Our preschoolers are Emmett, Nico, Max, Isla, Natalie, and Jocelyn. Congrats to our preschoolers. 
Our grade six Cove kids who are moving on to Cove Youth are Ben, Liliana, Zach, Cole, Natalia, Brody, Cam, Cole, Myla, and Spencer. Congrats, grade six. Don't be shy, come back and visit us. In the video, there is a baby picture of each of our grade six Cove kids. Can you figure out who is who? Before we watch this video, let's take a moment to thank God for his goodness because, say it with me, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for being good to us all the time. Thank you that we can lean on you and trust you and know that you are looking out for us and you are taking care of us. And getting to know you and getting closer to you is always a good thing. Thank you for all these good things that you did for us this past year. Even though it was a tough time, even though we were dealing with a pandemic and restrictions and isolations, we know that you are good all the time. We thank you. In Jesus' name, all right. Be sure to tune in next week for our new summer series, Wonder Women of the Bible, that starts July 4th. Your worship kit should be coming out to you very soon, if not already. All right, let's take a look at this video. See you next time. Our way, and it's just not our day.